The SSD we're working on today is made by ADATA. There is some very important information on it as usual and we're here to get the device either back to life or at least retrieve the content off of it. So uh, there wasn't much uh, in the notes from the client in regards to how this problem occurred. Uh, the only thing that's mentioned is that the device is no longer getting recognized in the laptop and it's not getting uh, picked up by the adapter. What could it be? There could be several things that go down on SSDs and in this video I'll take you through the steps that I use to diagnose these problems. Before we start guys I need to remind you social signals do help to boost our videos. Comment, hit thumbs up and let's get this going. And we'll be recovering data from this device here. A data swordfish because of this um, metal plate on top. So start with uh, inspection of the device, visual inspection, see what stands out. Looking for dark components that will be standing out. Somebody probed this already. Um, let's turn on this tool as well. This light will help us a bit more. Yeah, I see there's some kind of junk in here. Hmm, that looks a little bit roasted, doesn't it? Right there. Yeah, that looks quite roasted. So that's a clue number one for us. He says the donor, that's how the pin should look like on the donor. Clearly, it is not the case. It looks like it's been put through some torture. When we plug in the um, control unit, this is gonna get some power sent to it, right? So what we wanna do uh, now is uh, measure out what is coming into that component and what is going out of that component. <clears throat> We're gonna need a multimeter, which I got right here, set it to DC mode. Okay. And then the black probe will go towards the ground and then with the red probe we're gonna see what measurings we can get. I'm not the best angle for you guys but you can probably see the numbers. Alright so I'm probing this pin here we got 3.4 this pin here we got 0 0.03 this here, nothing. This here, nothing. And this one here, 0 0.23. That was a control unit. And swap in the failed unit. Failed unit. Probe on the ground. We have, should have 3.4 here, we do have oh that's that's a lot more this is half a volt that'd be the problem nothing here nothing here and basically nothing here now that the failed component is uh, located let's remove it and uh, see what difference it's gonna make
Yeah, it does look burnt on that end, and then it was uh, giving us a wrong reading there. So it looks like this component has failed. So luckily I got this one. I'm just gonna flux it. Turn the fuel extraction on. Alright, let's take this out. And here's the adapter. Slide that in. Power it up. And we're gonna grab our meter again, put it in a DC mode for test. Black one on the ground. And what I want to see here is a different number other than 0 0.5 volt. Yeah, we have much, much lower now. That's where it was originally stock. Let's check out the NANDs. Okay, the controller needs to be turned on so I'm gonna just power this off from the power supply swap an adapter for PC 3000 for it all right here's the fun part now if this works, we're going to see some good stuff. Power on the device and we got PHY. Um, I don't know if we have a utility for this specific unit. Uh, that controller is not supported by the utility yet, so I'm just going to go into universal utility and uh, see what's in there. But looks like we got a data set fish, one uh, terabyte. Uh, capacity come up and this is uh, extremely important guys when you do inspection of uh, SSDs visual uh, first thing you got to do just check components visually if they look bad uh, chances are they are bad um, there's our boot sector and there's our last sector so at this point it's just uh, a matter of starting up a, a cloning task this specific unit uh, I'm just gonna clone directly to one terabyte drive and uh, it's good to go as a result of this procedure, all of the data was saved. A full 100% image was produced. I transferred it over to a hard drive and now it's on its way to the client. So if you guys are in a similar boat and you need that data recovered from uh, your failed device, link in the description will take you to our website where you can request such services. Thank you very much again and I'll see you all in the next episode.